<clears throat> so what's up guys take tony here pathfinder digital marketing appreciate you coming to the channel to learn how to block ip addresses or external traffic now uh as always like share the video leave comments ask any questions down below that you may have when it comes to google ads and your analytics and proper tracking especially right now clicking it out so this video is up to date as of 6 20 2024 as we know google likes to change stuff so depending on how aggressive the changes are later on down the road i'm going to update this video as often as i can but right now this is pretty much the latest style so ip addresses especially if you have employees that tend to visit your website a lot you want to be able to clean out that data clean out who visits your website and track it properly so that you may have a better idea of who is visiting your website, who is actually new users, clients, so you have built proper retargeting sequences, so on and so forth. So today I'm going to show you how to block those IP addresses that's done in Google Analytics. And it's a little bit more of an aggressive step-by-step -step or process, I should say, because in the old analytics is a little bit simpler, but here it's a little bit more detailed. So let's go ahead and get this going. So step one is defining the internal traffic. Now there's old analytics, it was a slap all one size fits all and it worked, but here you actually have to define it. Let me show you what you gotta do. So to get this started, you're gonna wanna have to click admin. And then once you click admin, you're gonna go to data streams and click that as well. Now you might have multiple data streams, you're going to want to click the one that applies best to you or where you're trying to block the internal traffic. All right, once you get to this page, scroll down, click configure tag settings, and then you're going to want to click configure all. I mean, show all, I'm sorry, show all. And then down here, you're going to see where it says define internal traffic. All right, now this is the cool part. All right, so go ahead and hit create. Now, you're going to want a rule name. I remember everything here is defined very specifically, and I hate when I go into an analytics account and all the labeling is just very broad. We have no idea what the hell is going on in this account. So, you know you're working with a good marketer when they define everything specifically. So, we're gonna name this, if I can learn how to spell, external work traffic and then we're going to enter a, a traffic type value pdm pathfire and digital marketing underscore employee hang on i know i'm spelling that wrong so this is external work traffic for work only these are going to be the employees ip uh, ips and this part is going to do uh, address in range the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go too much detail about that. And here is where you enter the IP address. And if you don't know what it is, click here, what's my IP address? And you should be able to find it very easily. So as you can see here, I've copied and pasted my employee's IP address. Hit create. Uh-oh, hang on. All right, so once the IP address is entered, now, once the IP address is entered, remember, if you have multiple, add and you keep adding all your employees. And yeah, it's going to take a while. This is just for PCs. If Depending on how detailed you want to go, cell phones as well, and trust me, it is worth it, especially if you're trying to make money online, this is how you block it. And then you go ahead and hit save. I already hit save a little earlier. All right, with that, we're not done. Now we have to create a data filter. So let's go back to the home page. All right, once you're here, data filters, oops, and move my face, create a filter. Now you have developer traffic, which is web developers, things like that, but we're making internal traffic. So the internal parameter value real quick is gonna be what you named it. Remember, naming is everything is important. Uniform, organized, know what the hell you're doing in your account. So we're going to start naming everything again. Internal employee traffic. 
we're going to be excluding this. We have the same name that we carried over and we're going to activate this and then hit create. And that's it. Now you're going to start blocking the internal traffic from all of your employees, hopefully their cell phones, at least at a minimum, all the internal computers that you have, or if your employees bring their own personal laptop to do work at work, get those IP addresses blocked. And it's definitely worth the time so you have cleaner data to work with. All right, I'm Tech Tony. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If any questions or concerns, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on TikTok or Facebook and ask your questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them. Have a great day.